Hey, welcome to Melissa Valentine's Nursery. My name is Melissa and today we are continuing our series. Now these series are not meant to disappoint. They're not meant to draw drama, right? We're here to have fun. I want to have fun with it. You know what I mean? Like new people, they come, they come and they want to like learn about the hobby and the ins and outs and what's going on here and then and then that. They want to learn. So, and even like the ones who have been in the hobby, you guys want to like be somewhat entertained, you know? And who else has a series about stuff like this, you know? So, this series is Tales from the Crib. And, you know, it's about everything in the doll community. Um, this episode is called Nonsense No Cap Copycat Karens. Sobs from Snobs. So, I wanted the titles to be fun. So, Copycat Karens. No Copycat Karens. Now, you got those people on YouTube who, you know, got to have the only one of something, right? Okay. And these people may not always have the vintage, you know, because vintage, you know, you get something from the 90s and you can't, you can't always find the same one over again, right? So these people are the ones that are like, go get something homemade on Etsy and then somebody will see it and then they'll say, oh, I like that. And they'll go to Etsy and they'll go get, you know, what they want and they'll put it on their channel too and a lot of this stuff applies to mostly like youtube creators but so copycat karens you guys these copycat karens don't they realize that walmart is everywhere carters you know the baby store they got like um you know stores manufacture manufacturing heck you got more than one of that item and people get their panties all twisted because oh she copied me you know, like, come on, you guys, right? That's crazy. This is crazy. We go to Amazon. We shop Amazon, Target. You know, you see all these people, you know. So as we go over this, no, you know, sobs from snobs, um, the no copycat currents, I have something unique. All of our rebarns are unique. And if you just collect dolls and whatever, it is what it is. Everybody's welcome on my channel. I have a baby here from Europe Bar Nursery. This is the Robin Sculpt. Um, she is my, she's a fern baby. That's what they called her. But she is actually a elf. Um, and she comes with wings. So she could be an elf fairy. Her artist did her hair beautifully. Um, she actually started to be created by, sorry, my stove's going off. Her artist started to be created. Well, her an artist created her, started to. And then near and far, it's near and far nursery. No, it's near and far dolls. I'm sorry, you guys. She took over and finished creating her. And she's got this beautiful gold on her face. Oh, man. You know? So, and she's got ears that have been built up. A little teardrop there. Water drop. And she's got the ears. Oh, she's so gorgeous. And, she's got, and she has three-quarter limbs. And she is so, like, holdable and huggable and lovable. And she's weighted so beautifully. So, um, so I had her, she did not come in these clothes. Her artist actually made her clothes, um, beautiful clothes. And then I went on Amazon where everybody else can copy me and I will be thrilled. Um, and got this wonderful, cute outfit for her because I thought it was very appropriate. You know, it's beautiful. Um, so, you know, in my time of being on YouTube, you know, um, I'm going to take her clothes off. We're going to change her. She's going to look beautiful. So in my time on YouTube, I have noticed that, you know, you have people who collect the vintage. And I started doing that. Like, I like the vintage. Like, not because, you know, I don't want people to copy me. I don't care less. You want to copy me? Go ahead. That's a form of flattery, right? Heck, hey, I like to be flattered, right? Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to be flattered? I like flattery. I'm, I'm down with the flattery, right? So, um, yeah, I noticed... There's a group of, a couple of girls, uh, women, supposed to be women. I went and I uh, fell into the wrong side of the reborn world. You know, I don't like drama. Who wants drama? I don't like drama. Um, but I fell into the wrong side of things in the, in the world of the reborns. And I, uh, you know, watched a video of this uh, 
these women and they had a three hour video talking crap. I'm not saying their names because you know why? Because they don't need, they don't need the attention. I'm not giving them views. You forget about it. I'm not giving them views. So, um, they had a three hour video talking smack about another YouTuber and who cares? Who cares about your three hour video and who cares that somebody copied you, right? You should be, or, and who cares? Like, who cares? Who cares? We're in a drama free hobby, but because, you know, some people like the drama, um, they feed into it, but I think it's cuckoo. It's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I am putting, I call her Amethyst, my little Amethyst in this beautiful outfit. Um, it is taffy.com, T-A-F-Y-Y. Um, it's in another language. It says made in Turkey. I got it on Bokari. I thought it was the most beautiful thing. And I keep forgetting that she's three quarter limbs. So we're going to see how this goes because you guys look like her legs and arms are three quarters. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to figure it out. I, um, I went ahead and I got some tights. Well, I don't know, knee highs, tights, whatever. And I'm hoping that it'll kind of like distract from her three quarters. And, um, and then I got a simple pink bow. I could have got, I had like a uh, off-white bow with some gold, but I wanted to tie in the pink, uh, knee highs or whatever you want to call them, stockings. And, uh, there's a little bit of pink on here. So we're going to tie it in. We're going to make it look beautiful. She's going to look, she's going to look gorgeous. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm seeing what else. What I got over here. You know, I know people like, because I, I take notes. If you know me from other videos, sometimes I take notes and see what I want to say and refer to it as I lose my fuel. All right. So, but I know everybody wants to be unique in some way. People like to be unique. Um, oh, God, I hope these fit her. They like to be unique and... um want their dolls to be special. And you know, we, we each, we all tie in a little flare to our babies. Um, we tie in a little flare here and there and, uh, we, we just want our babies to stand out, but we can do that by, you know, adding a different type of bow or something like that. It doesn't have to be where we just put on clothes and then somebody copies, you know, we, we all want to be unique, but we don't have to do it all that way. So, um, you know, it's a form of flattery. You know, it's a form of flattery when somebody wants to copy you. And hey, if I get on a video and I see somebody with the same fairy outfit, you know, why not? You guys, these might be a little too uh, big for her skinny legs. But, you know, if I had like ribbons, I would tie it down to the bottom. But we're going to see. We're going to go with the flow and we're going to see what we got here. So what do you guys think? And I do like, let me take this tab off. I do like, um, I do like hearing your thoughts. I, like I said, I don't always, I don't always answer right away my, uh, comments, but I do like hearing what you guys have to say. And you know, this is drama free. We discuss in this and I'm not telling you who these, you know, people are who are drama queens who love to gossip about people. Um, so I just feel like this is your hobby. You do it your way. Uh, when we see things we like, it's a form of inspiration when we go after it and buy it. Or, you know, sometimes we, we buy things or something similar to what we have seen in the past. And um, if we copy from somebody, that is inspiration. I mean, that's how things are, you know, art is made. We have a form of inspiration. And we can take, you know, ideas from other people and spin it and do our own thing with it you know let me shut my door because it's kind of loud right there okay so um but yeah i want to hear what you guys have to say i thought this was a nice topic not like nice and sweet but something to discuss and all you guys who are new to the doll community and the more videos you watch the more that you will see that there are certain people that like to keep it going with, oh, this one, you know, drama here, drama there. We're not we're drama free, but we can discuss it, right? So um, don't let those people get to you. And if you want to copy me, hey, hey, copy me, you know? I'm like, hey, she copied me. That's, a, that's flattery. I'm good with that. I am good with that. Nothing against that. I'm going to tie her bow back here. And when I bought this off of Macari, 
Uh, I think I didn't read the listing right. It had like a stain, um, you know. So let's see if there's anything else that I forgot. Um, my papers. So we get inspired, fly after license, my Florida people. Um, bullying people bully over this stuff, you guys. Um, and then you got people, YouTubers, who literally leave YouTube because of the bullying so bad. Don't leave YouTube. If you want to do YouTube, do YouTube. You don't have to be chased off. Who the hell are they to chase you off, right? Who are they? Who are they to chase you off? Yeah, her three quarters up here. It's not really, as long as you don't know it's there, it's not a big deal. Um, look at her little bow. Oh, it's a little bye bye. It's a little bye bye. Um, so you guys, this is my amethyst. Let me cover up her cloth over here. Um, so you guys, you know, do your thing. If you don't want no one copying you, try to shoot for more of the vintage. If it really bothers you, don't be bothered by people. This is your hobby. You know what I mean? Look how beautiful she is. Look how, be look how beautiful she is in her little outfit, right? Now, she look, these socks ain't working for her. I have to get skinnier ones. Look, ooh, sexy. <laughs> We're going to lift the light. Ooh. <laughs> but you can't really tell, you know, about her three quarters if you're far away. It just looks like it's part of her vinyl. Um, but it's a cute little tutu outfit. And it's very appropriate for her. She, ooh, we don't want to do that. Um, and she's got the little bow. I didn't tie it all the way. But let me do that. Okay. She's so beautiful. A little bow on her back. See, it's got a little stain on one of the arms, but she is a, such a cute pie. Yes, she is, you guys. My little elf fairy. I don't use her wings too much, but she's a little cutie pie with a sexy stocking. Ooh, ooh, do, do, do. So, you guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments. I know this is a short one. Um, some of these are not gonna, you know, be too long. And um, Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Are you into vintage styles? You go to Target, you go to Walmart. Do you get offended when people copy you? Remember, that's a form of flattery. It is. It is. Um, you know, so tell me, has anything inspired you? Like, I watch, I'm going to give you the name of this lady. Uh, she used to be called Marmalade Life. Uh, she is Shelbia now. Uh, go to her channel. She's cool. She, um, I think she's from the UK or something. And, uh, she actually puts her babies in a lot of vintage stuff. Uh, and I, I was inspired. So I said, you know what? I like that. Not because nobody else. I don't care if anybody else copies me. I don't care if somebody is the same. But I like the look and the feel of like the 90s, the 80s, you know, that type of feel. As long as it's not too overwhelming. Um, so she inspired me. Uh, so leave your comments. Tell me your experiences. Tell me what's going on. What do you, what's your style? You know what I mean? So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like, like, subscribe, comment. Love you guys. Glad you could be here to share this experience. Without you guys, we wouldn't be what we are. We're awesome. We're outgoing, right? Love you guys. Till next time. Bye.